Okay, so hello. Oh. <laughs> hello, sixth grade. If you're watching this, that means uh, that you missed Wednesday. Okay, so it's important to, uh, that you catch up. So we are starting our first module in your System 44 book. Super exciting. Okay, and you know, you went over the preview pages six to seven already. And now we're on module one. So make sure you have your books open to page uh, 10 to 11. Uh, you should have school matters on the left side. That is the title of this module or unit. Okay. Um, and there are three texts within it. So the anchor video will talk about this module. Um, and let me share my screen because I do have specific directions while you're watching. I'm not going to go to presentation mode. Um, so, because I don't need it right now. So the first viewing, you're going to watch this video two times. The first time, once again, you're watching it two times. The first time, I want you to think about and prepare to discuss and write down, because you might, if no one's with you, you won't be able to discuss, uh, two challenges Dawn Logan space. So they'll talk about her in the video. And then I give you sentence frames to get you started. So one challenge John Long is faced was, and another challenge was, and then of course the video will be in. Okay. Okay. So let me get this video popped up and going. It's only two minutes. School matters. School might be even more important than you think. For most people, more education means better jobs and more money. Find out. What are colleges looking for? How can you learn more about colleges? And meet a young woman who shows it's never too late to go back to school. Up next, Dawn Loggins goes from mopping her high school halls to walking the halls at Harvard. Dawn Loggins is graduating and she's smiling. High school graduation was something Dawn wasn't sure she'd ever see. Dawn's stepfather was a drug addict and his addiction affected everything in Dawn's life. Her family moved a lot. Dawn went to seven different schools in six years. They had no money. Sometimes her parents couldn't pay for electricity or even buy food. Her family was often evicted, kicked out of their house or trailer because they couldn't pay the rent. When Dawn moved to Burns High in Lawndale, North Carolina, she got a job as a school janitor. She mopped and cleaned before and after school. She still studied hard, did her homework, and went to the library, and she was getting straight A's. Then one day, Dawn came home to find that her parents had moved away. She had no idea where they went. Dawn was alone. When the Burns High staff heard about Dawn's struggle, they knew how badly this smart, hardworking student wanted to succeed. Her school community teamed up to make sure Dawn had food, clothes, and a place to live. And they wanted Dawn to have the future she had worked so hard for, so they helped her apply to her dream college, Harvard, one of the top universities in the country. Harvard said yes. Plus, Harvard offered to help Dawn pay for college and find employment. It was a new day for Dawn. Finally, with help from people from her school and her community, she had turned struggle into success. Okay, so let's go back to, let me sneak back to your presentation. Okay, so go ahead and answer those two questions right now. Okay, one challenge John Logan's face was and another challenge was. Once you're done with that, you'll keep going with the slide presentation. Now I will do a second video for the second read. Okay, but go ahead and make sure you've completed those two questions. Okay, we'll go from there. 